So in today's meeting, we will examine how to models in simulating the whole system, starting from the mathematical equations characterizing the web behavior, and adding progressively new elements that will increase the level of detail of the system. Later, we will learn how it's possible to derive the parameters of PAD compensators, exploiting specific analysis tools in simulating environment through system level simulation in closed loop. So now we are in MATLAB and uh, we'll use this HTML file to move into the different step of uh, the design and start with the model of the web system. Here we have a big model. Yeah, you can see in the scopes a representation of input and output. In particular, here we have the input. So we have an inlet force, which is the force measured before the roller. We have uh, an input speed, it's the speed of the roller. We have a set point here, which is the tension we want to read. And we want to measure close to the second roller. Here we have the output, which is the force measured close to the second roller, and it is fed back to the tension compared to the, te the, the set point uh, tension. And here we have uh, two important blocks. We have the web system and the electric actuation. About the web system, we see we are reproducing the case of two rollers. Looking to the system, we see we're using uh, the first equation of the slide that you saw before. And this equation is exactly reproduced as a topology using uh, simulating blocks. Now, here we have the control drive. We have a PAD controller. We have a model of the driver motor and a model of also the output transmission. As for the drive motor, we have just a couple of poles because the other supplier guaranteed that this was a, a reliable representation for this kind of uh, analysis. As for the output transmission, we have a zero to old showing that we are sampling the data coming from the previous block. And here we have uh, two blocks similar uh, and uh, representing uh, the, the non-ideality inside a sensor. So we have uh, an external access for the noise. We have uh, a saturation block a quantizer, a zero on the road, and a delay, which is, uh, which consider possible additional time spent to transmit the signal. And here you see something quite similar. Now, we can move to a more detailed and complex representation of our system changing technology to represent the process of the plant we want to control. So, for example, using Simscape. So here you see the same problem we want to deal with. And uh, going to hit, you see the, the response is different. Why? Because this time we are considering not only the effect on the web, but we are considering also the presence of the rollers. So in the simulating model, this presence in terms of dynamics was not considered. Now we do this. And we do this using Simscape blocks. 
So here we have this inertia and a damping uh, related to the representation of uh, the first roller in the chain. And here we have the second roller. And in the middle, we have a representation of our web using a standard solid model. And here, from outside, you have the additional tension applied to the web. Now, one of the nicest aspects in the use of Simscape is the fact that we can use some uh, uh, ready-to-use blocks to create model of the plant very quickly without reproducing by hand all the equations. So if we would like to change the kind of modeling of my web, so from a standard solid model to a Kelvin void model, uh, we just have to remove this block and uh, rerun the simulation. You see, this is uh, the, the result has changed slightly, and this is reasonable because after having done this change, I should go back into my model and tune the PID. We see after how to do this. In addition, I can also add uh, easily more than two rollers, but having two couple of rollers. And this is done quite easily again. So you can go into the model and you just have to copy this part of the model in the upper side of the model. So you see we have a, a perfect copy, a perfect repetition of what you see down here. And then again, remember, you have to tune your PAD.